And then for the ceviche, I thought I'd do a quick little Target haul. Okay, so I'm in it. Squeeze back in, you guys. It zipped up. Have you never had these? No, I haven't. Okay, this is what I was looking for. We ordered the dining room table a couple of days ago, but it won't be here till like mid-May. So that's annoying, but it's on its way. We're so, so, so excited, but I am going to go pick up the rug tomorrow. I'll take you guys to go do that. But I just got back from Target and I wanted to show you guys, I got a bunch, well by a bunch, I mean three candles from them, but still, considering I usually buy zero to one, three's a lot. And they have like some really good spring scents. So I wanted to share what I got and then I also got a new spring soap for the bathroom because the soap in the bathroom right now is like an evergreen and I'm like mm, this doesn't feel right for the springtime. So I got the Everspring rose water and mint liquid hand soap and you guys this one smells so good. Mm, just like fresh spring vibes you know like mm. but to go with it in the bathroom I started out with getting one candle and then I got two more which I'll put around the house but the first one was just a small one for the bathroom and this one is the island moonlight candle mm, it just smells like light and fresh for spring but not like that like linen scent almost as if it's like a little bit of an ocean scent to it it's just but in the best way possible it smells amazing so i'm gonna put these two in the bathroom and then for out here in the living room i'm gonna replace some of the candles we have some candles out that are very very fall heavy on the scent so the first one that i'm gonna put out is this one and i should mention these two are from opal house but this one is the gardenia lotus and oh my god you guys when i smelled this i died it smells so good like i can sit here all day mm. Anyways, and this one was ten dollars, I think. This one was five, and then this one was actually the good find that I got. This one was ten dollars as well, right? Your test ten dollars? Yeah, I think so. Oh, and this one's Opal House too. I thought that it was different because they like seemed different in the branding, but 
opal house as well and this one is the wildflowers and this one's a three wick candle i really liked the color on the outside how it's neutral but still spring and this one has peony and lavender in it and well it just smells like a nice light fresh spring day it smells so good so i'm gonna put these two out in the living room but I just got back, I did the gym and then Target, and I don't know if you guys saw, I got a neck pad for the squat rack, and oh my god, it changed my life. If you guys are like back in the gyms, you're gonna start doing the squat rack and stuff, especially with COVID, because I used to use, you know, like the communal neck pad, I would sanitize it, but still, you know, like, people sweat and stuff like seeps into it and of course it took me until covid to realize like okay maybe i start bringing my own mat and my own neck pad and before i got the neck pad i was just using like my sweaters and stuff i would take it off while i was working out and use it for padding but now that i'm back into hip thrusting and squatting lunging all of that stuff in the triple digits it's getting to be a lot on my neck and I was feeling my neck still hurting even two or three days out from when I last did my leg day so I finally invested in a neck pad and it felt so good to use it today I actually don't feel any pressure or any pain on my neck from where the bar was sitting before it was lovely and I'm happy to have my own because I know no one else's sweat is on that except for maybe Trevor's if he decides to borrow it. But other than that, no one else's sweat is on it, which is beautiful. But I'm just gonna unpack everything really quick here, and then I wanna show you guys my lunch because you guys saw me like prepping it, but I'm so excited to get into it. Okay, I'm so excited about this, you guys. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I made shrimp ceviche. I'm so excited. Wow, that looks so good. Mm. Here's my setup. I get the chips that are made in-house at the grocery store. It's just so much better. They taste super fresh. They have a good crunch. I mean, obviously it's not authentic because it's not actually handmade in Mexico, but you know, they're nice and fresh and good. And then for the ceviche, I actually use pre-cooked and deveined detailed shrimp. It just makes the process so much easier. If you prefer to save money and you don't mind doing the work, you can absolutely get whole shrimp, but this is just like a lot faster for me, especially when it's something that I need to prep before I work out because you do want this to marinate for at least half an hour but usually it works out for me if i prep it before i work out then it marinates for an hour but anyways there's shrimp cucumber diced tomatoes red onion and cilantro in here and then i top it off with the juice from half of a lemon and then some salt and pepper and then my secret ingredient for it has actually been a few sprinkles of this this is the trader joe's citrusy garlic cuban style seasoning blend this just gives it an extra depth of flavor that goes perfectly in the ceviche so if you guys have been seeing this around Trader Joe's and have been like kind of curious about how you want to use it try it in ceviche it gives like a good kick without being too spicy and that's a lot coming from me who says that black pepper is spicy so you know that this is definitely worth it but let's give her a little taste seriously guys this is key though get the fresh tortilla chips don't get like tostitos or anything like that get the fresh made in house chips it just makes such a difference but Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. This slaps. Mm hmm. And honestly, you guys, it's really easy, fresh, simple, and quick. And I swear, like, if you do it before you work out, you are gonna look forward to the fact that you have this to come home to. And you can obviously customize ceviche however you want. I should also say this was inspired by Jacqueline Hill's latest snack video. I omitted some of the stuff she uses and then I added some of the stuff that I like, which is why I say it's so customizable. If you don't like cucumbers, leave them out. If you wanna add avocado, throw it in. If you wanna use something different like tuna or another fish, you totally can. I just love the freshness and simplicity of this and you get to eat chips with it, so you know. Can't go wrong. So it's now Friday and I just picked up some Mr. Pickles and you guys know what that means. If you guys saw, I think it was two vlogs back. I am back in the area where all of the furniture stores are and I am actually parked outside of at home. I'm gonna get that white rug for the dining room that we saw in that vlog. But first off, I just wanted to have my lunch because it's like two o'clock and I haven't eaten. I feel like I'm always telling you guys that, that at some point early afternoon and I hadn't eaten yet. But it also is because I do intermittent fasting. So I just got my usual. 
half deli salami sandwich on sourdough with garlic sauce, cheese. I do provolone. There it is, lettuce, tomato, onion, all of the good stuff. So I'm gonna eat this really quick, but I am so excited to get this raw. Even though I won't be able to put it out, it's just gonna have to stay rolled up in our dining room area until the dining room table comes in. I just, I'm just still so bummed that it's gonna take like a month to get here, but you know, I'm gonna be relieved once it's there. I'm gonna be happy. I'm not even gonna like be mad about the month wait once it gets there. I'm just gonna be so thrilled. I need Mr. Pickles to open up a location closer to me because this is too far. Especially since I don't physically go into my office anymore. If you guys didn't see that vlog, all of the good furniture stores are by my office. But obviously, since it's the pandemic, I'm not going into the office. I'm just at home all the time, so I'm never in this area. So make sure to take advantage every time. Get my sandwich. Mm. You guys saw me I think the last thing you guys saw was me loading the rug and everything in here but I also went to Target in between that last clip and I got some stuff I thought I'd do a quick little Target haul I don't think I've done a Target haul on here in a while although I did show you guys those candles in yesterday's clips but still we'll continue on with the Target theme I'll show you some of the things that I picked up because I went to the Target by my work because this Target is actually nicer it's bigger and when I went to my Target they didn't have a lot of the things that I went in there for so I didn't get everything I wanted but I was able to find most of it here so first off the peanut butter monster mix from Archer Farms I believe that this is like Target's brand but this trail mix slaps you guys I'm serious get it if you like peanut butter and you like chocolate get this trail mix specifically get the peanut butter one the regular monster trail mix is okay but the peanut butter one that one's good so I got a big tub of this I also got my favorite wine the California Roots red blend I know people hear $5 wine and they immediately think that it's gonna be terrible but the red blend from California Roots is so good literally you guys my favorite affordable wine I probably should have stocked up on a couple of more of this because seriously five dollars why didn't I I mean that was just dumb on my part then I also grabbed these smart sweets the red twist I haven't tried these yet you guys know that I really love the watermelon ones but I haven't gone and try the red twists yet and I've been wanting to I've been searching for them finally found them Ooh, they smell good we're gonna try them right now oh okay these have more of like a Twizzlers consistency to them I wish I hadn't gotten too bad. Man, this could have been a lot better. And they're okay. They're not what I would reach for. Definitely still the sour melon bites and the peach rings are at the top for me. This tastes like watered down fruit punch, honestly. It's not bad, but it's definitely not like a comparable red twist kind of a deal. So that's disappointing it's not that I would throw those out I would still eat it but it's definitely not my first choice for sure but anyways moving on to some beauty things that I got first up I've been complaining that I need a new cream bronzer brush so I got this one from Sonia Kasha this is their professional collection buffing blender brush this one looked so so good in store and it looks like the perfect size and density for what I'm looking for when it comes to my cream blushes so there you go so that you guys can see it it's nice and dense but like small so you can be precise but it is a buffer so you can definitely put on your cream bronzer precisely and then still buff it out so I do like that then I also got some of these 
Kristen S sectioning clips. If you guys remember, I have that waiver that I got in the last vlog and also on top of that, my new haircut, which is back because it's about six days old right now. I wanna do more of a blowout with like the front layers of my hair. So I need some sectioning clips just for sectioning with those few tools. So I grabbed this and then I've been wanting to try this so bad. This is the Juno & Co microfiber velvet sponge. This is in the pink rose one. And this one supposedly is supposed to blend better than like other regular beauty sponges. So we'll give this one a try at some point. I also got this. I've been seeing this on TikTok, like people raving about this. This is the Revlon Oil Absorbing Roller. Great if you are an oily gal like me. Let's give her a try. Because I'm sure I'm oily. I'm just wearing, yeah, I'm kind of oily. I'm wearing just a skin tint right now. I really like that Morphe skin tint that I tried in the last vlog. So this is like supposed to be something you can just like carry in your purse and just, you know, pop it out whenever you need to absorb some oil. So where am I? definitely seeing some oil on the nose this is all highlight so that doesn't really count but oh this did soak up the oil on the nose really good seeing some oil over here oh my god okay that's just like totally mattified i know the lighting is awful but everywhere that i'm putting this it's like automatically mattifying this would be great on days when i'm shooting and like we're sweating a lot and we're getting like oily and stuff I'm trying to go around where my highlighter is because i do want that glow wherever the highlighter is but but wow and because this is like mattifying the rest of my face is making the highlighter stick out even more gorgeous okay this was a good investment this was a little bit more than i wanted to spend on something like this it was 13 bucks but if it works you know what it's fine so i just put it in my purse because i like it i got this elf ride or die lip balm i actually got this yesterday in the peach color because they were sold out of tough cookie which is the one that i actually wanted but i found the color here this one's more of a like neutral balm and i do like the balm a lot i tried the peach one this morning which the peach one is so pretty it's just a sheer wash of color it's not like the peach is like crazy orangey or anything you know i'm always a sucker for a neutral lip when you squeeze it out it doesn't have like an applicator or anything you just literally squeeze it out of there you could probably press it yeah you can i mean it doesn't apply it like an applicator but you can just press it onto your lips just nice and natural this is a good one to just like leave in your purse it leaves like a sheer wash of color nothing like too crazy but yeah that is my little target haul my unnecessary target haul but i'm gonna get out of here and head back home i'm so excited i'm sure you guys saw in my clips we picked up a trash can we actually don't have a trash can in our kitchen we never have actually that no, we did for a little bit my friend who lived with us for a little while got us a trash can but neither of us <laughs> would empty it out so it got really really gross and we had to throw it out but i got us a nice trash can that hopefully we will be more motivated to keep clean um oh, what the hell just opened over here is that a sonic oh no that's a raisin canes oh my god they opened up a raisin canes by my work thank god i don't go into work anymore because i would eat there all the time i'm doing much better at home having to deal with the food that is in my kitchen guys look at this toy that i got him oh okay you know i'm trying to show them if you were from home and your dog likes to play with something that has a squeaker this yeah so what he just pressed is actually a squeaker that only dogs can hear and this is so genius for people who work from home and have like a hyperactive dog that just like needs to play with their toys and stuff because they squeak it and you know we can't hear it but they can so it's entertaining them so he is loving this thing right now it's not that he's like hyperactive or anything when i work he just sleeps he's actually a very lazy dog but i still just wanted to spoil him but just a little tip out there for anyone who has a dog and they're working from home and maybe their dog just like constantly wants to play with loud toys this could be a good alternative get it get it get it get it <laughs> By the way, I'm not worried if he like bites the toy with my hand in it because with me for some reason, he won't bite my hand. Like even if I'm like roughhousing with his mouth and stuff, he like he won't, see? He literally refuses to bite my hand. I'll stick my hand in his mouth and he just like, he'll close it 
to the point where like his teeth touch my hand but he won't clamp down which is so the opposite of trevor he will rough house with trevor but with me he won't bite me at all it's actually like kind of cute and sweet good boy he's a good boy yes he's a good boy yes a good boy get it get it get it you gotta take it from me lazy you gotta take it from me you gotta take it you gotta take it. God, you are so lazy. Let's use the mess as usual, per usual, I should say. God, I just, I can't wait to be able to take everything out of here and redo the whole thing. But in the meantime, we finally have a trash can. We don't own a trash can. This is so nice. Okay, so first off, all that going out shocked me. So here's the mini one, and this is what I mean when it's like kind of like a charcoal stainless steel. It's darker. It's not that like light silver. And then what I like about these is you can just pull that out, take the trash out, and put that right back in. So it's actually kind of nice. I mean, obviously I would line it, but still to be able to have an option is kind of nice. So I'm not probably going to use this one in the bottom bathroom. But here's the big guy. Again, it pulls right out if we want to do it that way. But nice and big. You guys can see how big it is compared to me. It's like half my body size. Whoops. Figured I'd just put it right here. Oh, that's so much better. Whoa. Pull it forward just a touch. Nice. Oh, look at this. We're adults. We have an actual trash can. All right, so it's night. We're cracking open this wine. Ooh, don't fall. The server just got home and I actually saw this hack on TikTok. Apparently, if you blend the wine for 15 seconds, it's supposed to make cheap wine taste like expensive wine. I like the way that this wine tastes in general, but I'm very interested. So let's try that. Oh my God. I almost dropped my favorite wine glass. Oh my gosh. Look how big this thing is. I love it. I'm just gonna take a quick, should I cap it? Take a quick taste just to get like a baseline for what this tastes like before. For five bucks, that is damn good stuff. It's so smooth. It doesn't even have that like bite that most cheap wines give you. It's great. But let's try this little hack. So Trevor's gonna come down here and see me blending wine. He's like, what the hell are you doing? Okay. There we go. The smell on this though does kill me. I will say that. It doesn't smell like it tastes. It smells like it's gonna taste really super cheap, but it doesn't actually taste like that. But okay, let's see. So I think it's like 15 seconds, so let's just do it. So supposedly it's the equivalent of letting your wine breathe for like 30, 40 minutes or so to release the tannins. I don't know wine very well, so I don't know what all of that means, but just in general, it's supposed to make it taste better. I mean, it smells the same. <clears throat> If you get this wine and you smell it before you taste it and you're like, what the hell was she talking about? I promise you, it doesn't taste like it smells. All right, let's see if this makes any difference at all. Oh. Like it was smooth before, but it's even smoother now. Yeah, that's nice. but we are shooting today. We're shooting in Chino Hills and I actually have kind of 
a very different post that I'm putting together. I'm excited about it, but it did require me to bring out something that honestly people gave me a lot of grief about when I got it. People were all like, do you really need that? That's so extra. But you know what? I've used it more than its main counterpart. Joke's on them. I'll show you guys what it is in a little bit. It's 100% not gonna fit me, but I only need to shoot from the front. I wanted to try the cookie butter latte. So I went to Starbucks and unfortunately, apparently, Starbucks as a whole is very low on oat milk because people keep ordering these kinds of drinks. But so I subbed in almond milk. I don't think it's gonna taste the same, but you know what? Maybe it'll be close. Maybe it's really truly just the chai combined with the brown sugar syrup. That's the true flavoring. Or you know, maybe that's just wishful thinking, but let's give this a try. Nope, that still tastes like cookie butter. Holy crap. That's so crazy. Oh my God. What the hell? I definitely see though where oat milk would be better. It would just give it a little bit more depth. Like it's a very light cookie butter flavor right now, but this is still really good. Oh, I'm shocked. I don't even want to think about how much sugar's in here. I try not to get trendy Starbucks drinks just because I don't want to have that much sugar in my coffee or my chai. But I just had to try that one. I definitely want to go back and see if I can find a place that has oat milk and try it. But still, that is so freaking close. It's crazy. I can't believe that. But anyways, I'm about a half hour out from Michelle's. So I'll probably just see you guys when I get there. Like I said, we're gonna shoot, but then we're also gonna be doing some planning for our next shoot, which is gonna be in LA. So gonna be hanging out at her place probably all freaking day long. So get ready for lots of Michelle and me content. <laughs> all right, just got to Michelle's. Trying to gather everything up. You guys can probably guess what this is, but this is the thing that I was talking about. 100% not gonna fit, 100%. Almost had a crisis and almost thought that I forgot the perfume, which is the collab that I'm doing with my wedding dress. So thank God I did not forget it. <laughs> okay. You guys, I'm still so shook from this cookie butter latte. Oh, it's just so crazy. Oh, it's so crazy. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna put you guys away as I have to climb like three flights of stairs to get upstairs to Michelle's. Okay, so I'm in it. <laughs> Squeeze back in, you guys. It zipped up too. <laughs> that was the shocker. But it totally looks like if it's like the thighs are so tight. <laughs> But, oh, the thighs. Yeah. Well, you can't see, I can't no, see your thighs because no, the way the dress is. It's just like I can feel it, it pulling. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I thought here was gonna be the issue, but it's not, it's like definitely right through here. I told Sarah like the location that we're going to, there's kind of like a trail. So there can be people like hiking or walking. So I could just see some pictures of people being like, oh my God. <laughs> Wow, congratulations. <laughs> just soak it in. I know. Make I use of it. I know, I'm not wearing a wedding band. I'm yeah, just wearing, I'm there just you wearing go. an engagement band. Like, oh, thanks. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, Michelle's never, you know, she didn't get to go to my wedding. So I know. This is this is for you. This is for me. <laughs> and I gotta take the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> or her the film it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but we still have to pick up flowers and stuff, so I packed up my like an outfit in here. Real in the car while I go get yeah, the flowers. Yeah, I'm not walking into the freaking grocery store in this dress. I'm worried about you going down the stairs. Oh, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll probably it's just, just hike it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll just hike it up. I mean, okay. really, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. yeah. We are at our first shooting location. We're gonna find like a trail to go on. I'm gonna hike a bit in my wedding dress, you know. Uh, <laughs> Michelle's been dying at this whole situation. I mean, I don't know why I brought white sandals. I do too. But I'm just like, because the dirt, I'm gonna switch into like these orange heels. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I'm not hiking in those, but this yeah. is for another look, but I'm like, oh my God. Maybe I should have brought like, just like climbing shoes. If you want me to carry something, I can. I Maybe just have like the one back. Okay. Or flowers, would that be easier? I, either one. Okay. Okay. But yeah, it's been a while since we've done this. We're actually gonna have two different shooting locations today. So this is the first one some cute spring shots, and then we're gonna go to the shopping center afterwards. I'm in my next look, not looking like a psychopath in her wedding dress up on a hill. I just had these shorts from Nasty Yo. I don't know if you guys remember them. It's like a couple vlogs back, but these are like pinstripe um, blue and white shorts. 
probably see better detail when I get up here. They're kind of like dress shorts. I like the length on them. I like the fact that they're like longer, but not so long that they make me look short. I also have on the white mules, just like a white tank top. And then I had to borrow Michelle's denim jacket because I forgot mine at home. But I mean, a denim jacket is a denim jacket. I'll make it work. And I also brought out this bag. I haven't used this in like over a year. Just like a cute blue Michael Kors bag. I thought that this was like so cute for a spring look. And I feel like I just don't switch up my bags enough. I get stuck on like two or three bags and I have so many bags that I should switch it out more. So brought out this guy for retirement. Hello. So let's update you guys on what's happened. <laughs> So once we change into the second looks, we tried to go shoot in a very cute spot. Got so attacked cute. by bees. Like, <laughs> Not literally, but like, but like we couldn't stand there without a bee like being like buzzing around our face. Literally like, right next chasing to our faces. Us. Like we were yeah. running and it was still following us. Yeah. So we I'm had to like. So we switched. I know. I'm so tired. I'm we haven't so even done the third look yet. We tried to switch to one spot. We walked over there. Mind you, to get to the spot where we shot our first looks, I don't think I showed you guys anything from that, but that's where I shot my wedding dress at. We had to like hike up a hill to get there, hiked back down, changed, had the B situation, tried to switch to one spot, didn't work. So we had to drive to a whole new spot, but worth it because the photos are really nice. Yeah. yeah and then it did come up really well. Yeah. And then, so we went back to Michelle's, chilled for a second, got some waters because neither of us had drank any water today. I literally wiped down my body with my bath towel because I was <laughs> soaked in sweat. I, and I turned on the AC. We're having a day. But now we're on our way to the shopping center. We're gonna get smoothies. We're gonna get smoothies, yes. I hope that gives me like some energy. But yeah, that too. I, it should if there's sugar mm -hmm. in there, so. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go do that, then shoot our last look. So we decided we're just gonna stay in the garage the whole time. The second look's <laughs> like fast. Yeah, we're not even gonna leave the garage. We're just gonna shoot both outfits in the garage and call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gonna eat afterwards? I don't like, know. It's gonna be our big thing we eat. Do we wanna like eat there and then go to my apartment? Whatever. Because there's restaurants I there? I don't care either way. Yeah. Because so. I feel like I've maxed out on the takeout over here. Gotcha. Like I've eaten those. <laughs> You know the thing that we got last time? Yeah. We just had it like two nights ago and I was like, ooh, I think I've eaten here too much because I'm eating it. I'm not oh, excited gotcha. about it. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine with me. Or we could pick something up there. I don't even know what's there. I don't care. I'm fine. I, I'm just thinking about the fact that we tend to keep going late. So I'm like, maybe we eat there. Yeah. But it takes stuff to go to munch on. I also, you know? I also have cookies. Oh, there's a Trader Joe's over there, too. <gasps> Ooh. Maybe we go to Trader Joe's. And I haven't been in a while. Like I'm a gonna while. I'm going to make you buy so much stuff. I'm going to be like, you should get that, you should get that, you should get that. It's I'm like, why do oh. I? Yeah, yeah you day, should. Uh, the other mean? day, I was like, why did I not walk over there? Huh. Feeling. Idiot. All right, you guys. We got our smoothies. I'm so happy. Mm. I got a Parmesan sourdough pretzel. So good. That's a wrap, I'm cheating. I know that it seems as though nothing's changed. I'm still in the same outfit. We're still in her car, but in between the Can last I clip drink and on now. Top of my car? Oh, no, where mine's at. At what point did I lose it? <laughs> did you throw it out? Were you done? I definitely was done. You throw it out upstairs? I don't know where I left it. <laughs> it's definitely not in my car or on my car. So Michelle littered somewhere. Shoot, where <laughs> would I have left it? Mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> I don't see it where we were just shooting over there when I had it. Maybe you put it upstairs, threw it out upstairs. I could totally have thrown it away and like not remember it. Yeah, I think that's so. That's totally something I would do. Mm-hmm. That's very true. There's so many like young teenagers coming in here. I know. There's like, like what teenagers are like biking. We saw like three kids like riding their bike and behind them is like one other kid trailing on his Segway. And okay, was, first of all, you have a Segway. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, relax. We yeah, didn't. There's like a couple that's been in this that car the whole time. Interesting. I don't miss those days. No, I don't. I'm either. so glad I'm not that young anymore. I know. Like, I live with I'm my like, significant other. I'm, I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> I also live with my significant yeah. other. I'm like, I just can't be, I can't afford to be uncomfortable. Also, like hanging out. Yeah. I remember, like, when you would, like, just like 
go to hang on you didn't have like your own place because you live with your parents that's true so you would like if things if it was late and you couldn't be at someone's house you'd like yeah. hang out in the car and i'm like oh god i'd be like i'll see you another time exactly <laughs> i have to be comfortable no, it's so much more convenient now we're adults like comfort with is our place. everything yeah by the way i was in a wine night with girls like a month or two ago uh -huh. and I was talking about like how big I am on comfort and like how it's such a big deal to me yeah and I was like honestly I was like I feel like reaching out to Crocs and being like hey can I like promote <laughs> you guys um I comfort is key like I would love to try your product and no joke like two weeks later Emma that one really big Instagrammer uh -huh. she posted a Emma picture Lincoln. yeah a, a story of herself in in Crocs and was like these are the next big thing and I was like I literally <laughs> just talked about that with people and everybody thought I was joking and I was like no I'm serious like I love comfort like I really got to make that my like driving like thing like because I'm older I feel like comfort is everything yeah and I had purchased Crocs I had purchased a pair of slides and you I have Crocs a, I, have, I have a pair of slide Crocs not the full covered one and they're like actual slides got it and they're black and I'll show them when you come to my house okay. they're black and white and they have like the perfect arch support and I'd wear them to my Pilates class with, oh, my, nice. with my slippers. Those are in, socks. like those like thick yeah. slides are in right now, so. So I was just like, I, I was going somewhere with them. <laughs> you know what I mean? And now it's like a big thing. And now they're, um, those girls that were in the white night with me, cause they have a lot more followers. Yeah. They were approached by Croc. Oh. Like literally, and they sent it to me like, oh my God, Michelle, like you called it. Like, what the heck? And I was like, reach out to me. Oh. <laughs> So hey, Crocs, Crocs, if you're watching, I would like Michelle would really you like to promote you. Yeah. You can skip me. <laughs> Sarah says it's fine. It's fine. You know who I would love to be sponsored by, like, as far as comfort footwear goes? Because I'm such a California beach girl. Rainbows. rainbows. Yeah. yeah. You know what's so funny is I Nate love to be sponsored loves by rainbows. rainbows, and he said he's like, Crocs are more comfortable than rainbows, but I was like, I've never worn a pair of rainbows long enough to be able to like break them in. Oh really? Yeah, I just, it was so uncomfortable. Nate bought me a pair and I was like, nah. Yeah. Um, so I nice still have one. them and I've had them for like four or five years. And I've never broken them in and every time I wear them they hurt so I never go to them. Yeah, you gotta you know, they've never been uncomfortable for me. I've like oh, I could have been doing this this whole time. It's still there. I have literally never had to break in a pair. Like I, I break them in, yeah. but they're never so uncomfortable that I have a are. wide foot. Oh, that makes sense. So it's like the sandals like <laughs> <laughs> That's why I like slides because then it's just like yeah, I get that it feels comfortable But yeah, I have a wide and then like the top of my foot right here my bone pops out on both of my feet Do you mm. see that? So like boots and stuff? mine does that too hurt oh. It hurts. I always feel Maybe so much pressure here. Small. Your feet even with it popping out. It's, I still have enough room. Yeah, I'm like tiny feet. I'll wear boots and like I'll take off my shoes and I can feel that my circulation's cut off like right here when oh. I'm wearing them after a while That's not fun so all that to say, we're at yeah. CPK now. <laughs> I forgot that we were filming. We went to CPK. I wonder what our conversations are like. You'll, you'll be able to watch it back. You have to catch up though. Yeah. You're one vlog behind. Yeah, or two sorry guys. Behind. No, you're fine. Well, this is, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michelle hasn't watched my videos lately. I've been, it's been his time. It's fine, I'm not mad. I haven't even watched, um, what's her name? Tara's home updates this last week yeah, or like any of her videos and you I, guys we're so excited so I just got a notification we love Julianne Hunter and we always like we'll text each other if we haven't if like a new vlog pops up we'll text each other and be like what are you watching and we'll try to watch together and like yeah. text each other back and forth yeah and even when we did our girls trip we were like hoping that they post a vlog yeah and they, they never did it, like a whole weekend yeah. but as soon as we got back in the car before i turned on the camera i saw they posted a vlog so we get to watch at michelle's place together for the first time yeah and like on my tv together it's not like i'm like watching it like i feel like a lot of the times if i'm not watching on tv it's like on my computer or something mm -hmm. So it'll be nice to watch it together with the TV. I know. But it'll be so nice to like not have to like text and try to catch up to like where each other is in the like video. Like the last one I was ahead yeah. of you. Like yeah. I could tell like maybe like a minute or yeah. two ahead. Because I was like, oh she hasn't noticed that yet. She hasn't said this. Yeah. And then you'll say it and I'm like, okay, so she is like a minute or two behind. Yeah. So. But now we're actually gonna watch together. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah. We're also gonna film a TikTok or two. Yeah. So make sure you're following me on TikTok. You can follow Michelle. So there's like three videos of hers. <laughs> I know I don't. Someone asked me, they're like, hey, can you send us your TikTok? We'd like to work with you. And I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, you would not like to work with me. Yeah, you would not like to work with me. <laughs> Yeah. All right, anyways, we're gonna go get food.
Bye. Bye. <laughs>a change of plans it was like an hour wait that's insane so we just ordered our food to go and right now we're walking over to trader joe's grabbing some snacks there will probably be a line there we'll see hopefully there's not. always like a huge line out there so if it is we'll just walk through forever 21 or something <laughs> but our food's gonna be about 20 minutes so yeah just gonna go pick it up i mean that works out that's what we were saying earlier we were trying to decide if we we're gonna eat in the restaurants yeah. or just take food to go so i yeah. guess that like decided it for us so. yeah i think even like go home and order it oh my no phone. no that was like good idea and then when you start walking through i was like okay i was wrong i'm not paying for delivery yeah, yeah. for oh, here oh even... the sale it's not yet okay it's just kidding oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> i was like oh, it's not so got our cbk yeah, I have white clothes, but... <laughs> yum i always get the margarita pizza it's my favorite so good that and their pea and barley soup those are my favorite michelle <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm putting on Julianne Hunter. Oh, that's nice. That's literally wow. what I wanted for because I didn't want to sit there. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule? What is our love at one side? It should really be given take. Fill you up and leave me empty Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings Going through changes I'm just so mad right now I can't even think straight So I'ma just Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet So we grabbed some sweets from Trader Joe's. Have you seen that Shelby. video on Instagram or TikTok where he's like, I want some sweet. No, I haven't. Okay, let's find it. The guy who's like, I want some sweet. I want some real sweet. <laughs> like it's like at the end of the night. <laughs> like that's so me. That is me. So now every time someone says sweet, I think of that. <laughs> well, she got these crispy, crunchy. Have you never had these? No, I haven't. These are like, the, like, when I think of Trader Joe's, I think of these cookies because this is like a staple. Like mm -hmm. that they've had like always. This is I always see it. I've just never yeah, had it. It's like one of my favorites. Like I know people who have like family members from like my friend's grandpa loves these. Like he loved them for a while. So I feel like when I think of Trader Joe's, like I can't go and not get these cookies. I'm huh. really excited for you to try these. Okay. Well, I'm really excited for this. She also got these soft baked snickerdoodles. I love snickerdoodles. So. Oh, I'm actually upset that I did buy two boxes and I thought about it. If I like these on my next trigger run, I'll get it. No. Uh, you're gonna have to. <laughs> like I already know. <laughs> this is the only. And then this is something I never allow myself to buy because I can't stop. But this is the brookie. I think I've tried it on the vlog before, but mm -hmm. Michelle's never tried the brookie. Mm -mm. I'm excited. <sighs> so good. <laughs> like, is this like a fork thing, or like you buy it? No. Oh, they're it's a little square. I didn't see that. Yeah. Yeah. So you can take a square. I feel like this is gonna be so rich. I feel like. It is, but it's really good. Okay, let me try some of these. I feel like we're like trading Trader Joe's desserts. Like, I feel like this might be too much for me. Hmm. I can eat the whole box of those because they're just so small. You know what? Like, they're, it's good. I could easily stop because I'm not a huge crunchy cookie person. Mm. But I do I feel like this is going to be so much. This is so buttery. Mm-hmm. I could not have more than one of these. But it's so good. It's so sweet. <laughs> it's the brownie. Like how soft it is though. Mm -hmm. Like it's cooked at the perfect texture. Yeah. I'm like making this. <laughs> Alright, I'm excited. You have the I'm excited. Mmm. <laughs> how soft are those? Oh my god. That's nice. Like the box is not big enough. They need this for those. <laughs> right? I didn't put it all the way. There we go. Mm. I love snickerdoodles. It's so soft. <laughs> <laughs> it's so sweet. <laughs> I actually will eat two of these. Oh my <laughs> god. I'm like, <laughs> my sweet tooth is crazy. Woo! We also pulled out like the biggest. I did. <laughs> 
I'm just like, it's falling apart. Mm -hmm. I love these. I love brownies though. I love brownies. I love cookies. So like this. This is this was my favorite. Mm -hmm. mm. I love the brownie on here. I don't know that I like the cookie as much. Really? I like the brownie more. The cookie's my favorite part because it's so mm. undercooked. Mmm. Mmm. Also, I usually have it room temperature. That brownie is bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, I was like, it is a little cold. I am it's sensitive so cold. to cold food. Like when I get it at my Trader Joe's, it is not cold. Why is this so cold? This feels like ice. Yeah, it's been sitting out for like at least thirty minutes too. And it was it wasn't stored in like a refrigerated section. Was it? Mm -mm. It was in the bakery area. That is weird. I know. Mm. Anyways, mm. Mm. you know what? I think I like them separate. Because mm. the cookie is really good. <laughs> yeah. Just... Maybe they were fighting in my body. Couldn't figure out which one I wanted. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I like them separate. I like the clap. Great. <laughs> <laughs> My body approves. <clears throat> yeah, these, like, because they're not very, like, super sweet mm -hmm. and they're, like, small, like, I'll sit here and I'll be doing something and then, like, half the tub's gone and I'm like, oh, did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> is that me? Okay. Who else is in here? Who else is in my house? Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Yeah, I. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, I keep forgetting about my day in my life TikTok. <laughs> oh, did you record your pizza? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Mm. Didn't use this. You only need like a second per clip. I can't believe how expensive that mat was. Oh. Um. Yeah, so we just watched Julian Hunter's vlog. Oh yeah. Um, she was showing her yoga mat. It's Lululemon. Keep in mind, I got my yoga mat from Five Below and it works just fine. Five dollars, no complaints. So Michelle looked up the Lululemon mat that she has. It's like, they start at like $60 and then go up to like 100. <clears throat> I can't imagine paying that much. For a yoga mat. I know. That better be like the plushest, like most comfortable. Like I said, that thing better not rip ever. Yeah. I have one that's like 20 bucks. I don't know where it's at. Might be in my garage. I have no idea because mm -hmm. we moved, so I'm like, I don't know where it's at. Mm -hmm. But I have that for like four or five years and I got it from like Target for like 20 bucks and it works perfect. Like I've never had yeah. issues. Not that I use it every day, so it's been a while. I use mine every day. But I did use mine for like an entire summer, like almost every single day because mm -hmm. I was working out for like, cause I was going to Cabo. Mm. So, but. No, it works just fine. Like, why? Yeah. I mean, she didn't pay for that mat though. That's oh, that's true. I really gave it to her. Mm -hmm. But she was doing a collab with Lululemon. So I highly doubt she paid for it, but still. True. She'd probably be happy with like a Walmart one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just one. <laughs> just, just the just one, one chocolate. No, there's another one underneath. Those are two uh, separate ones. Oh. Two. oh, that's totally right. Yeah, two. Two I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm healing. Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling. All because of you. You and I was so sweet, so sweet. Talking till we asleep, asleep. Every night I fall deep, fall deep. But love, yeah. Cause you really get me, get me. Make me fall in my knees. Hey guys, alright, so it's been a couple of hours and I still have a serious case of bedhead goals. But I actually am filming today and then we are taking out Trevor's mom for her birthday for dinner. So I wanted to finally use this little hair waver that I got from Amazon. I showed it to you guys in last week's vlog, but I saw it from Julia Havens and this looks like the kind of waver 
that is more up my alley versus the bedhead waver which just does a little bit more of a crimpy style which isn't bad it's just not what I wanted so I like the fact that on this Amazon one the barrels are bigger it's like actual curler barrels on it so I think that that's going to give me more of what I want so I'm getting ready to film right now and usually I do hair second but I wanted to do hair first just in case it ends up kind of like puffy I can give my hair some time to calm down while I'm doing my makeup but first thing I'm gonna do is go in with some dry shampoo I'm gonna use my Dove dry shampoo you guys know how much I love this stuff I spray it right into my roots here underneath too this will also give me like some texture and body because when you put waves in you kind of want a little bit more volume than like say if your hair was straight and stuff so I'm gonna let that sit for a second I'm also gonna grab oh no couple of these clips that I got. Oh my god, my hair looks crazy, but I'm gonna grab a couple of these clips that I got from Target the other day when I did my little Target haul because I am gonna section off my hair. I'm not gonna do like a ton of sections. I'm just gonna do two. So let me go ahead and brush this back out. Oh god. We got a lot of dry shampoo in there. Come on. Looking a little foggy in the roots, but it's okay. Work it in. Let's plug this in. So this has Celsius on here. I'm in America, so I only know Fahrenheit. <laughs> but I think two what is 210 Celsius? I don't know if I want to go that high. What's a 180 versus 210 Celsius? Okay. That's 356. I feel like I should only leave it on 180, but 210 is like 400. No, I'm just gonna leave it on 180. I don't want to damage my hair too bad. If it's not crimping as much as I want it to I'll turn the heat up but plug her in and she turns on automatically when she's plugged in so just know that but I'm gonna put this up while it heats we'll see how long that takes to heat up hoping it's not too bad like I said I am gonna section off my hair I'm just gonna split the top into two sections the thing when it comes to like curling your hair or waving it that I've noticed is that if you do it like all at once, it's a lot calmer, but the more you section it off, like if I did like three or four sections going up, the puffier it'll get, but probably the better the style will hold. So it's just about like how soft you want your waves or your curls to be. I mean, you can always brush them out afterwards, but I personally am the type where I prefer to go softer. So I'm only gonna do two sections. And I'll have the exact waver linked down below. It's not like Conair or Revlon or anything. It's some um, obscure Amazon brand. So I don't know off the top of my head, but obviously it'll be linked in the description as anything I show on my vlogs always are. Ooh, this is getting hot. Well, that just took a few seconds. Okay, yeah, that's super hot. This heats up really fast, but let's just dive on in. So I'm gonna hold it five seconds. Mm. 10 seconds. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is what I was looking for the first time I used a hair waver. That's it right there. This kind of style. I am gonna bump up the heat. So it looks like if you want them to find, you have to either bump up the heat or leave it on longer. Just depends on what you wanna do. If you have more time and wanna leave it on lower heat, leave it on longer, go for it. But I am an impatient person, so we just bumped up the heat. That second one was not as good as the first one, but we'll just keep going. Dang, I have a lot of hair. So for the front, I've been crimping everything this way so the plate is up on the very sides, but I think for the front I'm going to flip it so that it's a little bit more face framing, if that makes sense. So You see what I mean? Like now this way it's going to go inward and I'm starting a little bit lower. I'm not going to hold it as long. I want this a little bit softer just because I have bangs and stuff there, but okay. It's a little bit puffier than I wanted, so I'm glad that I'm gonna wait until I'm done with my makeup before I start officially filming the video I'm filming today. But I like this so much more than the other waiver. I just like, 
I feel like this is a style that just like looks better the longer you wear it. It looks good, it looks fine, but I think it's gonna be even better tomorrow. But I like this a lot. I'm definitely keeping this waiver. This is like totally what I was looking for. Need to finish the other side though. But if you are looking for a waiver and you don't want an 80s wave or kind of like island style vibe waves, I think that this is like the one just because of the size of the barrels. This is definitely a lot more modern and a lot sleeker than a lot of those waivers that you're seeing from like Conair, Revlon and stuff. Again, I just like love the fact that this has actual barrels on it and I believe this even comes in a larger size. I mean, I'm good with this size so far. I don't need to get the larger barrel, but if you would want the larger barrel, just know they have it. I was also really nervous about doing this now that I cut layers in the front, but it actually blends nicely it's not as like crazy as i thought it was gonna be you know i will say also too for this top like the very top layers like right here i don't hold it as long maybe just like five ish seconds for each section and then i also i don't start all the way at the top of the root i start a little bit down that way it's not so puffy up here cute okay yes so much better i mean i'm sure i'm gonna love it even more day two but love and then how cute would it be if you just left out a couple pieces oh my god that would be so cute should i do my hair like this for my video oh no i'll see how i feel after i do my makeup but i really really like the waves on this it's later since we can't go out to dinner with trevor's mom we're gonna go pick up some sushi we're taking spart on a little car ride so getting some dinner are you getting a car ride mister Oh, you're getting a car ride? It's like roll the window down, it will be. <laughs> but we're getting sushi from one of my favorite sushi restaurants around here called Sushi Town. It actually wasn't too bad for all of our stuff. I even rounded up for charity. It was just 35 bucks. Nice. Yeah. It actually isn't bad. Yeah, I know. And I got shrimp tempura too. Last time it was 52, 55. Yeah, you also did get like Two California, two California rolls and a, a spicy tuna two roll. Two spicy tuna yeah. and rice. All right, secure the sushi. Aww, are you getting love? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> I heard you say secure the sushi. Oh, I was saying that we secured the sushi. The camera's on. Oh. I should probably turn the car on in order to get it to back out. Hello, camera. All right, we got the goods. Got my miso. And one of this is sushi rice and one's They're the white identical rice. rice. No, no, one's a sushi rice and one's I'm white assuming rice. that this, then. Yeah. yeah, that's sushi rice. And then my tempura. Do they give us soy sauce? I should catch up on my reading. I should catch up on my eating. Yeah, but it's hard to keep a thought straight with you all up in my face. Try to get you on my mind, but why should I when you're all?